Over the last 20 years, the number of premature babies has nearly doubled. They're now born at a rate of about one per minute every minute of every day. It's a troubling trend that doctors still can't predict with any certainty. Most premature babies are born to women who have not had problems with pregnancies in the past or this may be their first pregnancy. Women like Erin Camp, who was young and fit and well on her way to a routine delivery. Inside on the ultrasound, he looked perfect. He did. He was, he was already practicing his breathing at 24 weeks, which doesn't happen until they're almost 30 weeks. But unexpectedly, her son Cade was born three months early and weighed just two and a half pounds. Kate's getting healthier, but now that they're expecting their second baby, the camps want to do all they can to avoid another preterm birth. So they're hoping to take part in an innovative new program launched by researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital with doctors at Ohio State University. The idea is to take blood and urine samples from the parents before birth and the babies after they're born to build a massive data bank of medical information. We are hoping that with the specimens we collect, we'll be able to learn more that will help us understand how to predict problems in a pregnancy. And then the second thing we hope will be that we can use that information to uh, devise you know, intervention strategies. Those clues may be hidden in these tubes, and if they are, parents like the camps want to find them. If we can, you know, do our part to, to help um, future couples avoid, you know, what we went through, then, you know, absolutely it's well worth our time and our our efforts. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.